tear even work? Hi. This is now my red, white, and royal blue shelf. Can't stop crying. I'm gonna be an absolute mess. I finished this in five hours. I'm blonde. Hiya. It's been a minute. Hello, everyone. It's Chloe here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog, kind of. It's not going to be a weekly vlog, like Monday to Sunday. Um, I'm kind of just vlogging the next couple days of when I'm busy. Does that make sense? Anyway, I'm going to go into it more. Don't worry. First and foremost, I want to apologize because I have not uploaded for two weeks, maybe even three. It's been a hard few weeks. Um... Basically, I've been in physical pain for the past two weeks or so. I have polycystic ovary syndrome. If you didn't know, it's PCOS, whatever you want to call it. So my ovaries are fucked, basically. And I am in excruciating pain for the past two weeks-ish. So I haven't had the energy to film and then obviously upload those videos. So it's been a bit of a struggle, okay? However, I will update you throughout this day and like whenever I film of what's been happening. But I wanted to start filming today because today is Friday. I have a hair appointment today. <laughs> My hair is getting dyed today. I am so excited because I just need a change and I feel like it's a new year. Obviously it's like four months to new year, but whatever. I just need a bit of a change. So I'm dyeing my hair today. I'm not gonna say too much. It's probably in the fucking thumbnail but it's dramatic that's what I'm doing today so I thought I'd vlog today because obviously it's a big thing and then I'm not gonna vlog anything this weekend so Saturday and Sunday there's nothing happening Monday I don't have any plans except at 6 or 7 p.m the first five episodes of young royals the final season drops on netflix <laughs> i don't know how to feel so that's gonna be happening so i might film some stuff on the monday probably mostly embarrassing stuff because i will be sad as fuck tuesday wednesday thursday there's nothing planned and then the following friday so this time next week is actually my cousin's birthday celebration so i'm gonna go celebrate with her in the city basically a rundown of the plans is i'm just gonna vlog when i have plans for the next two weeks so i'm gonna get ready for the day because my appointment's at 12 so really anything i have to tell you what even happened in the past two weeks to show you guys nothing really i redid my room that's pretty much the biggest thing and like maybe there's some books to talk about but let's just get into this weekly vlog i'm gonna call it a weekly vlog because i'm vlogging okay there's nelly everybody also this septum piercing is fake okay i don't have a septum piercing I'm pretty sure my like bridge i can't get a septum pierced but I found my fake one and I'll be wearing it for the unseeable future. Okay, thank you. I also got my nails done on Wednesday. I went with this pastel orange. I think it's sickening. If my tablets can just like kick in, that would be fucking lovely. My bed's not made, so let's ignore that. But I'll show you my room really quickly. I basically felt the need to move it around because I felt kind of claustrophobic in it. And obviously, I don't want that to be the feeling I feel when I'm in my room, obviously. This being the doorway, this is now my wall i'm obsessed with this <laughs> but this is where my bed is now bedside table this is my makeup setup even though my makeup's over there but it's whatever but this is like my little young royals section all these shelves have magazines on them for young royals and then over here i have the makeup desk again it's the lighting is so bad and then up here i have two more magazines and then i have my little rug and then some pop vinyls and then here's me and then moving over here we have my bookshelves ignore this gap here i have to connect them because i have to buy the extenders for this but as you can see with the floor there's so much more room so like, that's what i wanted i wanted more room but these are my shelves now i have changed them <laughs> since last time there's nelly i don't know what she's doing i don't think there's anything else really to talk about actually i'll get dressed and then i will show you guys my overview of my hair i just realized the strap you can see the strap. I don't know if I like that. I thought I'd do an overview of my hair. Because again, I can't do anything with it right now. Because I'm getting it done today. When I tell you I'm so excited. I literally mean I'm so excited. I might not look like it. Because I'm in pain. I also love this background. I don't know about you, but I love it. Anyway, um, I've also done so many transitions. Like on reels and stuff. So I needed a change. Because I have had this hair for a year i've had red hair for a year and i've only re it once during that time but as you can see hopefully you can tell it is very 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 faded and actually it's turning orange at the end because if you guys remember i had orange hair before this and then i went to red i really hope it all works out like i could i could probably cry with how excited i am as you can tell it's very faded because obviously if you remember it being very very bright I re-dyed it for my cousin's wedding and my birthday. So it's been a while. This is, I haven't touched it since October. Well, I'm not going to dye it. Someone else is. I'm actually going to a brand new hair salon in a couple towns over. And they just opened up, which... <laughs> 
sounds bad, but they came from another salon and she has like 30 years experience and I'm just really, really excited to be able to do this. Get excited. I'm trying to film as much as I can today. Again, like I literally just said, it's a brand new salon. So I don't know how much I'm going to film because it's awkward. We've got some regrowth, obviously. Nelly is looking my windowsill. Anyway, I don't really have anything else to update you on. Should I talk about books is the question because I know a lot of people aren't going to like it. Like it. Why'd I say it like that? Also, this is the outfit today. This top is Princess Polly. I have a discount code if it's still working. It's CBXO, all in capital letters. And these pants are from Shein, I think, ages ago. They're my little zebra print flares. Let's talk about books, baby. I'm trying to think of what books I picked up last time I vlogged. It's been a while, if you can't tell. Well, I'll start with the ones I picked up yesterday. I picked up The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. I actually listened to the audiobook of this, so I've already read it. But I want it in physical copies so I can annotate. It. And then I finally, finally picked up Done and Dusted by Lala Sage. And she's just announced her third book in this trilogy, I guess. The second book is about to come out and she just announced the third one. And I, we only just got this in Australia. Cowboy Romance, we love, obviously. I've been umming and ahhing on getting these, but I picked them up anyway. This is Pucking Around and Pucking Wild. This is the Jacksonville Rays book one and two. This is about ice hockey. I was a bit skeptical because the quote, like that they put on the top I, I feel iffy about it says I can't fall for a player let alone three babe that's like a fucking not even a triangle it's just fucking square I don't want what no these men are ready to test my limits but this is my chance to prove myself and I'm not risking it for anything I can't fall for a player let alone three but if love is a game these guys are playing to win what else do I have to show you oh I'm also getting a parcel today but it's not for me it's Ashley's birthday present which I'll show in here I guess Wait, is that what I... Where's... Oh, I have two sets to show you. But really randomly, I picked up the movie cover of Red, White and Royal Blue because I don't have this one. And I was actually putting this off because I hate movie covers. So this is Taylor and Nick on the cover and I'm obsessed. So this is now my... <laughs> seventh red white and royal blue cover sorry i also do want to get the japanese version and the russian one as well because they're so gorgeous this is now my red white and royal blue shelf so i ended up getting the entire ever after series by emily mcintyre this is dark romance of the villains of fairy tales i hope i'm saying that correctly but we have hooked scarred wretched or wretched twisted and crossed so i got all of them and then in the same day i got the entire indigo ridge series <laughs> by devney perry so we have indigo ridge juniper hill garrett flats jasper vale crimson S i'll say crimson city crimson river and sable peak yes all of those are on kindle unlimited and no i have not read them on kindle unlimited but i was meant to be on a book buying ban and i ended up buying 12 books so i don't know how that happened anyway anyway that's the little update again nothing much is happening except well today's a pretty big day not gonna lie <laughs> Hi everybody, excuse the lighting, okay, I just wanted to update you really quickly before I head to bed because it is currently 10 o'clock. Um, I think we finished my hair at like 8, I was there for 8 hours. I don't know how much I filmed, I filmed whatever I could. I am now fully blonde. <laughs> I don't even have the words. Yeah, I decided to go blonde because why the fuck not. I got a bit of a trim as well, so it's all even. Got some layers, I got it thinned out because it's fucking thick. And then I wanted a root like a shadow root because i didn't want the harshness of the blonde on my roots i'm blonde now um i'm obviously going to do a full glam tomorrow and take a bunch of photos obviously i want to do an instagram post a new facebook picture you know etc etc this is insane i'm really tired if you couldn't tell so just ignore i'm over the moon and my hairdresser this is the first time I'm ever going to her clearly gonna be going back to her i do have to go back to her and buy products because i haven't bought the product because i need to keep this blonde as blonde as it can be i don't know what i look like like i look like something like a character in particular but i don't know what it is and it feels incredible considering i have so much bleach on it it was a long and tedious process but again you have to consider that i went from red red to this 
in nine hours. Not a lot of people can say that, so I'm really happy and grateful I got to do this. Now I just have to keep up with it. I wanted myself to make the effort. That's why I wanted to go blonde as well, because I knew that I wouldn't let it go to shit because I spent so much money on it. This is what I look like. I'm going to get changed and go to bed, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow a bit more about the process and everything, but your girl's now blonde. I have to change every single profile picture ever, but I'm really excited and I'm really happy. I'm just really tired, so I am going to head to bed. Like, looking at myself right now, I can't explain how it makes me feel. Like, who is this person? Good morning. <laughs> it is currently 9.30, and I love how I just started filming and I have to pee, so that's fucking great. Um, happy Saturday, everybody. Um, Saturdays in this household is basement yard territory, so I'm watching my new basement yard podcast episode, and I'm going to do a makeup look. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do my makeup because I need to take a bunch of new photos. I will do a time lapse and I will see you guys when I have a full face on with my hair. Because I haven't seen my hair with a full face on. All I did yesterday was my eyebrows and a bit of mascara. That was it. So to see this is going to look mental to me. This is the final look. Um, I've already taken all my photos and done all my little transitions and stuff. And I'm obsessed. Like, I literally just have no words. Oh, I did my three transitions on Instagram. And then I have one on TikTok where I used... <laughs> I used the iconic red, white, and royal blue audio with the bottoms audio. It's so stupid, but it's so fun. I think it's funny. <laughs> oh, I don't want that. My life is the crown. And yours is politics and I will not trade one prison for another. I'm sorry that I looked at Mrs. Riley and lightly grazed her left head. I fucking love this audio. And I will not trade one prison for another. I'm sorry that I looked at Mrs. Riley and lightly grazed her left head. <laughs> anyway, so that's the update of this morning. Got a full face on. Did all my content that I needed to do. Changed my profile picture on Facebook and Instagram. So I got some good photos. I'm very happy. I do know what I'm doing today so we'll see like I said at the beginning this vlog is gonna be very chip choppy day wise so just bear with me when this is all happening I can't stop crying I've just had a shower so I thought I would talk to you while I put in some of my little conditioner fluid that I have to leave in my hair. Today is what day? Today is Wednesday. <laughs> I haven't updated you in a very long time. It's been a whirlwind of emotions this week. Um, I'm a little under the weather but I thought I'd talk to you <laughs> because I didn't physically film when Young Royals was on. I did do some Snapchats like on my phone, so I'll probably insert them while editing. But like I didn't actually physically pick up my camera because I was so anxious. <laughs> but I watched Young Royals on Monday, episode one to five. The finale is next week. I could not stop crying. You've probably seen my reaction already. Yeah, I just adore that show with my entire being and having it come to an end, I think just made me <laughs> Like, I physically felt... I still physically feel ill. I'm mentally ill. Can we just ignore that? Okay. I'm trying to open this. So yesterday, um, I didn't film anything. I went out and bought my products from my hairdresser. Hence why I had a shower today. So I bought all my hair products. I did my hair products in the shower. And it turned out not bad. Not bad. It still feels fantastic, which is great because I have so much bleach in my hair. But apparently I have to leave this on my hair. I don't rinse it out. So distribute into towel dry hair. Okay, well this isn't dry, so maybe I'll wait a bit. <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to say is I haven't filmed because I am just um, going through the ringer right now. But I think that's all I was going to film and tell you about. I think that's all I like, didn't film. I really, really wanted to just sit in the moment and watch my favourite show in the entire world and not obviously bring my camera out. So I can't talk about it too much because I will cry and that's not a joke. But, but what I'm going to do is I feel a lot better today than I did yesterday. Yesterday was the worst. Um, I was just on my phone the entire day. Like I didn't do anything. 
like at all yesterday i'm just in the mood where i don't want to do anything but i have things to do like i can read i can do this i can do that but i'm just in that mental state where i don't want to do anything mm -hmm. so that's good but i feel much better today so i'm going to try and read today so i thought i'd talk about books for one quick second excuse the lighting because again it is very hot today so like the blinds down but where do i put you so i can talk about books with you the lighting is actually fucking horrendous this is the second book of the Thona glass series by sarah j i've read a chapter of it <laughs> i just don't think i need something so informational i guess would be the terminology i would use to read right now like when you read this series or just any fantasy in general you need to like you need all the information in your head and i feel like that is not my mindset right now so i thought well, maybe we could read today this is done and dusted like i said i thought we could maybe do this the chapters aren't too long i want to read something because all i've done this month like reading wise is finish off an audiobook and like that to me really isn't physically reading obviously so i haven't read anything and i've read like at least 15 books in the past two months like each month i've read 15 books and then march i just went down to literally half a book so it makes me want to crawl up into a corner and die but we'll see maybe we'll start this i don't know anyway so what i'm gonna do is probably make my bed because it's not cute right now um and then maybe start reading so maybe you'll get some updates throughout today but other than today and tomorrow i'm not doing anything um and then friday i'm going to get ready for the day and then head to the station and i'm meeting up with ashley at like 3 30 ish i'm excited but i'm also fucking terrified we're doing whatever we're doing with her and then i'm gonna come home and mentally prepare myself i'm gonna cry i'm gonna mentally prepare myself for the ending of young royals and the documentary i'm gonna be an absolute mess basically i'm gonna try and read today fingers crossed um i finished this in five hours i was gonna update you halfway through but i just kept reading <laughs> i just needed more this is my first full book of march and as you can see i tabbed the absolute ass out of it like what the fuck this is 330 pages this is brother's best friend this is like kind of childhood friends they're not really friends as kids but they grew up together small town country cowboys my type of jam i rated this five stars <laughs> i just loved this so much i just love a cowboy romance i just love that whole atmosphere of being a small town kind of like growing up together i just love that vibe and this is just all of that put into one so i absolutely loved this the next book is the other brother and the third book is the other brother so they're all brother related books which i am so excited about i get to see ada and wes in the next book which is already out and then lila sage just announced the third book which is going to be teddy and gus and i am going to eat that shit up because teddy is an icon and I loved her so much in this. I loved this. I don't know why it took me so long to read it. Well, actually, no. It took me a long time because we only got this in store, like, last week. You, I could have bought it online, but I picked it up in store. Now I have to buy the other one. I loved this. This is a five-star read. Like, this is one of the quotes. I couldn't believe the universe was so big and I got placed on this random floating rock at the same time as Clementine Ryder. You are so far gone if that's one of the things you say. A little over halfway through the book. Are you kidding me? So now I have to pick another one because I really don't want to read crown of midnight on the train and stuff so i'm gonna do that but it's dinner time now and i might read some after that's my reading update so i didn't update you during it i was going to but then i kept like seeing the end of the chapter and i was like okay i can update you guys now and then i just kept reading so sorry <laughs> happy friday me and nelly here are about to do my hair but i've just put on my face i've had some breakfast no licking my face please uh, i'm gonna fix up my hair and this is the first time i'm gonna be styling it so i want to like spend some time on it anyway happy friday today i'm going into the city to see my cousin and like just celebrate her birthday did i update you on anything no the last thing i updated you guys on was me reading down and dusted i haven't updated you much sorry i did actually start a second book i might show you because i've packed everything 
everything. I packed everything yesterday. That's the only thing you didn't see yesterday. And then we watched wrestling and the football. Nothing dramatic, but that's all you missed. So yesterday, no, Wednesday, I started a new read after Done and Dusted. I started Assistant to the Villain. I was a bit skeptical on reading it because it is a fantasy, like comedic fantasy. So I was like, okay, I'll f I feel a little bit better about that. But I've been wanting to read it forever because apparently it is fucking comedic gold. And the banter is so funny. And I've read, I think, like six chapters and I'm obsessed already. Like the banter between the two main characters. See you later. I'm not really sure what time it is. I think it's almost nine. We're going to leave here at like 11-ish just because we're going to have lunch together. And then we're going to, or I'm going to get dropped off at the station. I think mum wants to buy some stuff and then they're going to go home. So that's why we're leaving a little bit early because we have lunch together. But everything is packed on the floor. I'm going to do my hair now. I don't really know how I'm going to do this. I know I have to straighten it a little bit and like maneuver it. So I think I'm going to bring my straightener in here and style it and hope for the best. It's been so long I don't even know how to turn this on properly. This is only the second time I've had full glam on with my hair. I don't think I'm used to it yet. I don't know what I'm going to do but we're going to do it. <laughs> is this hard enough? Ow! How does hair even work? I could put it up like this, but like I feel like that's boring. I need to learn how to style my hair properly. Okay, here's the hair. Is it cute? I don't fucking know. I've just pinned it like a 90s child. It's gonna have to do, okay? We're gonna get dressed now. Okay, so this is the outfit. The shirt is from Nasty Gal and the skirt is from Kmart. I put a bunch of rings on because why not? I kind of want to wear silver rings on this hand and gold on this because grandma's ring is silver and nan's ring is gold. So it just fits them all, but I don't have any silver because all the silver ones turn green so all of the rings that i'm wearing besides the ones i just told you about are from princess polly this bracelet is my grandma's what else do i have to show you i put some lipstick on and take a bunch of photos because um obviously i'm gonna do that it's only 9 40 we're planning on leaving like 11 so for once i'm ready way early but i'm pretty good with getting ready early i'm excited <laughs> at all we did it we did it i didn't ruin ashley's winning streak so morning morning <laughs> road trip snacks <laughs> are we going to a bookstore today yes did we already buy books at a different store that would be yes
I look rough. <laughs> Hello everyone. As you can clearly see, I'm home. I didn't update you a lot and I do want to apologize because I tried to vlog as much as I could but I wanted to also be in the moment because I was doing new and exciting things I've not done before. Today is Sunday. Today I'm just going to be watching wrestling with the boys and then probably cleaning my room and sorting all the books out and stuff so I thought I would show you a bit of a haul of what I picked up or well, technically I didn't pick up anything. I am so grateful because most of these are from Ashley. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all of these are from Ashley. I'm just super grateful. Anyway, someone's here to say hello. <laughs> so a quick rundown of what we did. I don't know if you can kind of see what we did in the video clips that I filmed, obviously. So probably not, actually. Um, I went into Melbourne. I met up with Ashley and then my auntie and uncle. And then we went to dinner at Teppanyaki, which is where they make it in front of you. I've never been in my life. And it was so much fun. I hopefully got some clips. I don't know. And then after that, we went into an escape room and I have never been to an escape room in my life neither has my auntie or my uncle but Ashley and her friend Matt are like the king and queen of escape rooms they've never not escaped one in time so it was so much fun doing that and like trying not to ruin their like what's the word I'm thinking of streak I guess of doing it in time we did escape so thumbs up to us um we did do it very we were pushing it very close but we did it and then yesterday we did a little road trip to a bookstore before that we went to a qbd because i physically haven't been to a qbd in so long because obviously i don't have one local and every time i go to the city i go to the dimix so i never actually go to qbd because there's nothing here but ashley was like okay well we have a bit of extra time we'll just go to qbd and she ended up buying me four books five books actually so i'll do a big haul after i run to it the, what? I'll do a big haul after I do a rundown. Anyway, so we went to Big W, Big W, no, we went to QBD, got a bunch of snacks, and then headed to a Thousand Lives bookstore. I'll leave the Instagram down below if you're interested in visiting them. But we went in there, Ashley bought a bunch more books than I did. She ended up gifting me four books, and then my auntie bought me a book and a tote bag. I'm just so grateful. <laughs> and then we went to a winery and had some lunch. I had some gluten-free food that obviously I've never had before in my life. We had some risotto, we had a fish dish, and then we had um, quail as well. So I tried a bunch of new stuff, which was very exciting. I had a scallop for the first time, like a proper scallop. And then Ashley dropped me off at the station and I headed home, and this train was so packed. I wanted to die and then dad picked me up and we're now here in the next day obviously so I've just finished watching wrestling with the boys so it's like 2 p.m 1 p.m whatever so I'm gonna show you all the books that I was kindly gifted and it feels like Christmas and my birthday but it's literally the start of the year it's very confusing I'm gonna run through the books really quickly because I'm going to be doing my shelves after this because I need to like reorganize them and I'm excited but also terrified because I feel like I don't have any room. Anyway, another point. The only one I didn't purchase, I guess, is this one here. This is actually from Ashley's collection. But she had a double up so she actually gave me this one. This is Haunt Me by Amanda Pillar. And this sounds so interesting. I think from knowledge, Ashley's watching this being like that is definitely not true. But from knowledge, she is a ghost, I'm pretty sure. She's a ghost and meets someone, so it's really fun. I think it's going to be kind of cool to read this and like jump into her verse that she absolutely adores. And then before I ended up going to the station, I popped into BW because I knew they had the second book of the Rebel Blue Ranch kind of like trio. So this is the second book. This is Swift and Saddled. You guys know I read Done and Dusted in this vlog. So this is book two. I actually did end up taking this with me to read on the train and stuff, but I just never read it. So that's great. So that's book two and then book three isn't out yet. So I needed to get this because I knew it was going to get sold out. So And then I also picked up The Inmate by Fred McFadden because my big W finally had them. And this one is apparently her one of her best ones. So I don't know if you can tell this shelf here. These are all my freeders. So I'm excited for that one. Now let's do QED and the independent bookstore. I didn't realize Ashley picked this up for me. I just thought she was getting it for herself. So that's great. This is the collector's edition of Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Um, if you don't know, I've already read this entire series, but this is the collector's edition. This was $20 from QED. So highly freaking recommend going to get this. This is the front cover and the sprayed edges on top and bottom are black 
This is the sickest thing I've ever seen. And there's like a little letter and a digital signature as well. So it's really cute having like a collector's edition of this. And then I really just wanted to go in and get this for myself. This was the only book I was really, really interested in. This is Magnolia Parks Into the Dark. This is the fifth book in the Magnolia Parks series. I have the OG covers because I got them from Amazon ages ago. But then they released the new covers, which are the shorter paperbacks. And I was so scared I had to get it from Amazon because Amazon had it for like $40. And I was like, this is ridiculous. Um, but QBD had the original cover. I don't like this cover. A lot of people do. I don't. And it's a thick boy. And again, if you didn't know, I didn't actually like the first book like at all. So we'll see if I can like, continue it and see if I like it. But I obviously had to get it because I haven't read the rest of the series, but I have to get the rest of the series. And then Miss Holly Black decided to treat me with some goodies. <laughs> so as you guys know, I read The Cruel Prince pretty darn recently and I'm obsessed with it. And then I found out that they have a little like short story type of thing. This is how the King of Elfheim learned to hate stories. It's like a little illustration type of short story book. But this was a big paperback and my other Cruel cool Prince set is the small paperback. So I was really, really, really fucking irritated. So I never actually picked it up. And I've never actually seen it in store. Because again, I don't have a QBD near me. So having to look at it was really, really cool. And then this recently came out. The Prisoner's Throne recently came out, which is book two. But I couldn't find The Stolen Hair, which is book one. So this is book one, this is book two. This is Oak's story, which is... Jude's brother and they're all in big hardback so they're not going to match but there's a daily struggle we deal with okay so this is the book my auntie picked up or like paid for I guess but this is my Dark Romeo by Parker J Hunting and JL Sheen is it two different people is it one this I'm pretty sure is Dark Romance so it's going to be I can't even speak English. It is going to be ongoing. Oh my god, it is going to be going on my dark romance shelf. But book two just recently came out, so I have to obviously get that as well. It seems interesting. I haven't I've heard about it, but I've like don't really know what it's about. And I read the blurb and I was like intrigued. So I picked it up. And then this was the biggest surprise ever. <laughs> Cause I should was just picking them off the shelf. Cause I told her that these are going out of print, like these covers. And I don't like the new covers. Ashley ended up getting me the entire Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher. OG covers and all. But the first one is Throtted. I've actually already read this one on my Kindle. And then these three I haven't read yet. So this is Collided, book two. Then we have Wrecked, which is book three. And Redeemed, which is book four. So I now own everything Lauren Ash has ever written and you guys should know I personally love everything Lauren has written I think her writing style is fantastic if you don't know this is an F1 series these covers I just personally love these covers more so than the new ones I'm pretty sure the new ones are gonna be like cartoony like people I guess which is not bad I just prefer these covers so I was telling Ashley about it how they were changing and I was like devastated blah blah and then she sneakily tried to get these off the shelf when I saw her and she was like no I'm gonna buy them but that is is my little book haul. I am so grateful. These are my books and I'm going to clean all of this up now. Hi friends, guess who forgot to end the vlog off? That would be Moy. I've just finished editing this current vlog and realized I didn't have an ending so we're ending it right now. Today's currently Monday so uh, it's officially over. I was actually continuing to film I guess kind of. I was actually going to film my reaction to the last Young Royals episode because that's tomorrow at like <laughs> four in the morning but I don't think I'm going to be literally stable enough to pick up a camera and like talk to you guys so i thought i'd end it here because it is already like half an hour long so i thought you put up with me for long enough so we're gonna end it here but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog even though it was kind of chip choppy i know it was like different days and stuff so i wanted to keep kind of the flow going but i don't know if i achieved that in any way if you like this video give it a thumbs up for me i know i haven't uploaded it in a couple weeks but we're getting back into it i'm very sorry just give me a break after young royals is over and i'm back into it because i'm gonna go downhill in a minute <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed it regardless again give it a like if you did subscribe if you're new i make a video every single thursday if i'm up for it at 12 p.m my social media links and everything i mentioned in this video will be linked down below like always and i think that is pretty much it i don't think i have anything else to tell you guys remember to spread love and stay positive and i'll see you guys in my next one bye everyone